Can you just tell us uh, how you came to Hungry Gen and what your life was like before and what God has been doing in your life since? Um, we first started coming to Hungry Gen around February 2nd. Um, it was actually our second time. Our first time was during the Christmas special, which got us really interested. Um, before Hungry Generation, I was a very lonely, depressed kind of a person. Um, I felt like no matter where I went, I wasn't wanted. No one wanted to be around me, even when I was surrounded by people. I just felt so alone. And that kind of overwhelmingness can bring a person down to their lowest point in life. And I was just in the need and search for something bigger and greater to just help me move past that and just be a happier person. Um, so about five and a half years ago, I gave birth to my daughter and it caused my hips to pop out of place. And since then they would pop in and out. I would have excruciating pain to where I couldn't stand for a long period of time. I couldn't walk or sit for a long period. And with certain issues between me and my family that also helped bring a lot of weight of depression onto me and really made me just feel so unwanted. But once I came to Hungry Gen and I got saved, I, my hips got healed. I was able to walk. I was able to dance. I was able to just do everything that I wasn't able to before. Um, the depression is no longer there. I am no longer in a moment where I just want to just cry all day. I'm no longer just in bed all day, just thinking of all the wrong. I am now filled with happiness and joy. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. So you mean to say this all happened to you about a month ago when you came. Can you tell us like exactly what happened for you on that day? You mentioned it was February 2nd. How was that service like for you? And what even made you decide, like, I'm going to give my life to Jesus Christ today? Well, um, when Vlad was up here preaching, I didn't... It felt like he was preaching directly to me, saying that if you feel alone and you feel like you need to just give your life to God, come up here and he can take all of that away. And so I came up here... I was standing right over there. They laid hands on my hips when they asked me where my pain was. I felt vibrations through my body after that. My hips no longer hurt. And since feeling that healing, I knew he was there and I wasn't alone. So I wanted to just give my whole self to him. And it's the greatest thing I've done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, people ask, you know, why do we emphasize healing and why we pray for people in our services? And I want to tell you that healing is not just so that people can feel amazing afterwards. God wants you to feel whole in your body. But healing is ultimately for the salvation of your soul. When you understand how good God is and what he can do for you in your life, it just like it did for Alexandria, it you, makes you realize that this is a God who I want to serve. Amen? Hallelujah. If we could switch places for just a minute, we're going to talk to Abraham over here. So Abraham, can you tell us what was your life like before you came to Hungry Gen, gave your life to Jesus Christ, and how have things been different for you since? Uh, for me, it was very similar. Um, I was lonely, um, kind of like in despair all the time. I had a heart of stone. Like I didn't want to let nobody in ever. My relationships with my, with my family and like my friends, it was just, it was rough. And um, on the day that I was healed, um, God also healed my heart as well. So it turned my heart from, like, stone. I literally felt it, like, kind of, like, melt, and, like, I felt warmth. And then, um, I mean, just, like, I became a different person. I'm not no longer, like, angry or, like, arrogant or stubborn anymore. I'm just, like, welcoming, and it's, it's different. It's a different outlook in life now, and, and I, I love it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. So Abraham, you mentioned that on that day that you gave your life to Jesus Christ, similar to your wife, Alexandria, that you received a healing. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? What, what, what happened? Why, what was even broken? Yeah, so I, I kind of stumbled and I twisted my ankle really bad. And when I came here, I was medically, I was halfway through my healing process, um, what the doctor had said. Um, but on the day that I healed, I mean, I healed in half the time that I was supposed to medically heal. Um, I, uh, I remember being healed, and I was just, like, so happy because I knew God had healed me. I remember, like, 
going for a run shortly after, and I was just like running and smiling on the street. People thought I was crazy, but I mean, I was, I was just running. I was so happy, you know, but yeah. Amen, amen, hallelujah. And so you had also mentioned that, you know, God melted your heart of stone. What would you say is the number one biggest difference for you today compared to five weeks ago? I mean, just like my outlook in life and like the way I treat people and yeah, that's, that's a big thing for me because I work with people a lot at my job and it's just, it's changed a lot my outlook on life. Amen. So now that you guys are here, what is your advice for people who are uh, watching us here in the live service or who might be watching online via live stream? How can you encourage their faith today? And I encourage you to be bold, you know, be courageous and just come up here and like you just got to take the first step and from, from there on out, just God takes over. Amen. And Alexandria, what about for you? Well, if you ever have any um, doubt, okay, <laughs> if you have any doubt that you're not special enough or that you are alone, all you have to do is reach out. Don't hesitate because he is there listening. He is there welcoming you, and he's just reaching out his hand. He just wants you to reach up and say, God, take me. So if you do that, I promise he, he will be there, and he will heal you in every way that you thought could, can happen. Hi there, this is Lana. Thank you so much for watching this testimony. I bet you were blessed. If you would like to see more of these testimonies, please subscribe and thank you again for watching.